Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to use the master tab right up here in effect controls in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this is often something that a lot of people overlook and I actually haven't learned about until recently. The master tab, the short version, is that it allows you to add an effect to the entire clip, the entire, I don't wanna use that word, the entire video that you import. So it's like you imported the video with that effect on it instead of applying it to each and every one. So that's the quick version. Now let's kind of go over the long version, the explanation of it. So you see that I have, this is all the same piece of footage, GoPro 489. All of this is just cut into different portions and it's, it's put around the sequence. Now the thing with this is that maybe we're at a point in our sequence where it looks like this. We have one clip and we've used it multiple times in multiple locations. What if we want to apply an effect to only these clips? And let's say there are different clips in between these clips. So the normal way to apply it to a bunch of them would be like to go up to file, new, and then create in a, you know, a transparent video or an adjustment layer or something like that and throw it over the top. However, whenever we do that, we also affect the stuff in here. So we'd actually have to cut them all down and bring them back to the appropriate sizes. And that can get tedious and I might as well just apply it to every one of these instead. And so if we apply it to every one of these, we could like, do something like apply, I don't know, maybe Lumetri to one of them. Do some basic edit like maybe we think that the entire exposure of the shot needs to go up. So yeah, now this is looking good, but this this we think that the video itself should have had this on it. So you know, we go over here and now the exposure isn't here. So we can copy and paste it, bring it all over. And again, this is a really long, tedious process. And if we wanna make a change, we have to do it to all of them again. What happens if you have like 35 of them? So what the master tab does, it allows us to take an effect and drag it into the master tab. So instead of going, when we click on here, it goes to effect controls, you'll see that we're on the right here. We wanna to go to the one that says master on it. And you'll see that it always starts off as nothing because it comes in with nothing on it. While the normal one comes in with like a uh, video effects and stuff. This one has nothing because it, if it had something, then it would be an effect that's applied to everything and that's not how you know, Premiere Pro works by default. So now if we take the Lumetri and we drag it on to the master tab right here, and we go into basic correction, let me just do something really intense here. Let's try and bring the tint down to green, but you'll notice every one of them is now green because the master tab is applying it. And you'll even notice that if we go into the project tab, the footage right here on the left looks like that it was imported like it was green. And this is basically just how this tab works. It's going to apply it to every single clip of the footage. And it's going to apply it like you imported the footage like that. This way you can affect every single clip within your sequence at the exact same time. So if you find something like color correction or any just general corrections that you think that the clip needs, you don't have to apply it to each and every one of them. You can just come into the master tab and you'll see that if I click on any of these, it's always right in here and you can just change it around. So that way, if we have something like we wanted to affect the, the, the con, well, that's a lot of exposure. We want to give it a little exposure, a little bit of contrast. I don't know, maybe drop the highlights down or something. We wanted to apply something and we think it should have been applied to the entire video as a whole. We can actually just drag it into the the master tab over here, and it's going to apply it to all of them so that we don't have to make the same edit a thousand times. And it's so much more controllable because we don't have to go back and let's say we've, you know, we've, we've done the long way where we've copied and pasted it. And we're like, oh man, we actually didn't want the exposure there. So we had to go back and delete all of them or move them all around. So that's just the magic of the master tab. And I just kind of wanted to show you guys that because it's really, really neat. And it's something that you wouldn't even notice is here without you know being told about it sometimes. So that is basically it for this tutorial. Just remember your, the master tab here allows you to affect the footage as a whole instead of the clip, which can be very important to apply footage wide effects. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you wanna see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make Adobe related content every other day. If you got any questions, comments, or suggestions for future tutorials, go ahead and those in the comment section below. And until next time guys, see ya.